Have you ever walked in a situation and all of a sudden felt like your body and your mind were working against you? Suddenly you're afraid, you don't know why, or you feel uncomfortable. Maybe your stomach feels funny. You just want to get out of there and you're not quite sure why. This is your nervous system at work. And I study this stuff, so I'm always surprised when people don't understand what's happening when you go into fight or flight. First of all, your brain is constantly scanning its environment behind the scenes in your subconscious to try to understand whether something is going to be dangerous to you or not. Is something a threat, right? And it has built up a lot of memories from the past of things that have happened to you that have been threatening. So you might have a memory that is connected to you walking into the room all of a sudden and feeling uncomfortable. So because your brain is constantly working and scanning in the background, if it detects something that is fearful, threatening to you, it starts to work automatically. It doesn't ask you permission, like, should I freak out right now? It says, go and start making your body ready to go into fight or flight. So what does that mean? Your brain is sending signals so that you start breathing more and your heart starts beating and your blood starts flowing to your muscles so you can get ready to do something. And parts of your brain shut down so you're not overthinking everything because you just got to act. Your eyesight will narrow because you got to, you know, keep an eye on what's going on. And then your digestion will slow down or even turn off because you don't need to be dealing with lunch if you have to you know, fight some big, scary thing. What's happening in our in our emotions is that we're just feeling out of it. Back in the ancient evolutionary times when this nervous system was developing, we were able to do something. We went into fight because we had to fight the bear or fight the other tribe, or we went into flight because we had to run away from the tiger that was running after us on the on the savanna. Or we had to freeze because we suddenly got into the line of eyesight of a predator. But in modern times, what are you going to do? So you're you're fighting, flipping people off on the highway, and then you wonder, why do I feel like that? Or you run away from problems, you ghost people, or you procrastinate, you know, that's just your fight or flight. Um, or you freeze up, you can't decide, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's another response that I find really interesting called fawn, where in order to make sure you're not under the threat of somebody, you just people please, you just do whatever they say, I don't want to have any problems. Those are all fight or flight responses. So we just need to learn how our brain and bodies work together and, um, and understand what's happening. And that's going to help a lot. Now, there are things you can do to turn that fight or flight off, and I'll talk about that next.